everyone. Welcome to the channel. We've had our weekly delivery of our stock and I've managed to grab one of the engineers before he clocks off for the day and one of the bits of kits out of the box which is the Viper 4K motorised AI IP Vandal Dome camera. So we are going to be very soon in the next week or so installing this for a local council in the Sussex area. It's to monitor a car park, I believe, Spike. Is that and right? the playground area. Yeah, okay. So let's get in the box. Let's have a look at it. Do you want to start that for me? So this is quite a heavyweight camera. It's a, a proper commercial industrial design. And it's supposed to be vandal proof. As, as it states on the book. <laughs> I must I must say while we're on video actually, when we um took one of these down uh, a couple of years ago, the guys because they were upgrading the system, the guys actually did when they took this down or a, an earlier model of this give the camera quite a pasting, didn't they? <laughs> yes, we did. And, and we, we can <laughs> honestly say that they are vandal proof. <laughs> so let's have a Can you just sort of okay, can so I have a look at the, the lens on it, Spike? Here's the camera itself. It's a uh, cast aluminium body, complete cast aluminium body with no security screws on show at all. It's got a very tough glass dome, and I'm not going to smash it up here. But... Which is what the guys were trying to do. <laughs> uh, however, if you were to deploy this for a client, they certainly get value for money. The lens itself says it's motorised. This doesn't mean it's a pan, zoom and tilt camera. What it does actually mean is you can adjust the focal length of the camera. So you can zoom in uh, using the optics of the camera rather than using its digital ability. And it's got quite an impressive digital ability. The camera itself can be deployed to look at number plates, to do target counting, which really means how many sheep through a gate, face detection, and the new variant of this camera can do heat detection. So f um, when you say face detection, can you explain that a bit more? So are we talking about that somebody's image is previously uploaded and then it recognises it? Can you explain a bit more on that for me, okay. please? Okay, well, face detection really works alongside. So if this is connected to a, an AI Viper recorder, the Viper recorder does a white hat, black hat count. So, uh, a person that can be previously, let's say an employee that's previously been banned from a building, tries to re-enter. As long as you have a picture of his face already in its memory bank, if he appears again on this camera and the camera counts it correctly, it will send an alert to the necessary security or person or authority that needs to be alerted. So does that necessarily mean you've got to have a security guard in an office or in a hut? Does that mean that that ping notification that a person who is not supposed to be there can be sent to a person's mobile phone? Yes, but they don't actually have to be in an office, they can be anywhere on the planet. So you could also be the boss of a firm, and if you found that there was somebody that you didn't want to be on your premises and the camera picks them up, you'd be alerted to it. The same rules apply with number plate counting. You don't have to be connected to the national database. You can create a white hat and a black hat rule, and combined with what it can see, can trigger security gates on the end of the camera here you find various connections for outputs you've got your ip connection which usually goes back to the video recorder yep you have standard video now this is useful if you have a spot monitor you've got a power input a microphone input and an alarm input and dry relay so the camera can be deployed in a various roles depending on what is required to maybe lift a barrier or drop a, uh, some sort of bollard. This can be done using AMPR or even let people through doors using face detection. So some, some of the other Viper range, um, they have tripwire 
Yep. And I forget, does this unit does it as well? Yep, this unit's fully compatible with all Viper features. So, um, so what are some of the, the Viper features? Ha, <laughs> the latest AI Vipers really do cover a lot, from crowd counting all the way through to number plate recognition, partly due to the fact the image quality on this is superb, as it is a true 8 megapixel camera. So yeah. it's super, super clear. It's absolutely crisp. So Absolutely. where we're installing it to yep. monitoring a car park, yep. playground, yep. 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 it's it's going to be fab. It's going to be fantastic. So once the camera is fully installed, I'll get some more pictures for everybody so they so see how it works. So can we have a look at the back of the camera? Okay. Fab. And one last feature of the camera, just before we knock off, as a backup precaution, it can take its own SD memory card. So in the event that it loses a connection with the main recorder and it's completely powered up, it will still capture images. Okay, so um, I'm gonna try, if I can, and I've got time to get out on site with the guys. If I don't, um, or it's just a couple of minutes that I managed to get with them, I normally do on our socials, Instagram, Facebook, put up some pictures of the guys at work installing all the equipment. So follow us on our socials. Um, thanks very much. You can go home now. <laughs> Click subscribe and mark the bell. Yeah. Thanks, guys.